In this video, I'm going to talk about global variables and also scope. So, we'll start off by talking about scope. What is scope? Scope is the context slash area in which a variable exists or in which anything exists although we'll just go when which a variable exists because scope as a concept is about the scope in which something can exist but it's the context of a variable in in terms of python right so let's have a look at variables so we know variables can exist within the file itself for example so let's make a variable say x is equal to 11 and if we do x equals x plus 1, we've got these two variables here, right? I can print x both times here, and we'll see that x is equal to 11, and then it's equal to 12. And you can see that this x is within the scope as the same as this x. Oh, sorry. Both of these x's are the same x, and they're within the scope of this file. Because they're within the same scope, they're in the main part of this Python file, um, you can interact with this x in any other part of this same scope, right? Let's say, I don't know, we decide that we want to make a function that makes x more than it is, okay? So, we'll call x plus 1. Right. And in this function, we'll say print x plus 1, x is equal to x plus 1. I'm actually getting a 1 in here. Uh, that's an EOF, that's not the 1 I want. A local variable x defined in closing scope on line 14, reference before assignment. Local variable x is assigned to but never used okay so it's this is actually defined here um, but here it's not within the scope of it's within the scope of the actual function right now when I try and use this function x plus 1 you'll see that it doesn't print out x plus 1 nor does it change the value of x so I just get a local variable x reference before assignment error and if I try to print out x, you'll see that it's not actually 13, even though it should be. It's still 12 from here. So when you actually make a function, these variables within the function only exist within the function themselves, right? And after this function is over, they cease to exist, usually, okay? If you try to use a variable from outside a function, you can't. You have to define new functions within functions normally. There is, however, a way that you can define, um, you can use an already existing variable within a function, or you can define a variable in a function that is to be used outside of that function. So you can essentially use, inside a function, you can use a variable that already exists outside the function and alter it if you wish. You can also create variables inside functions that will exist outside of that function. However, if you try it not normally, it won't be able to be used outside of this function. You can't interact with anything outside of this function. The reason is because I haven't used the keyword global. So if we define x plus 2, and we're going to say, use it, and we use the keyword global, followed by the variable we want to be global, and we say global x, what this does here is it either creates a new global variable x or it uses an existing global variable x. And since x already exists here, we're going to use this already existing x, right? And we're going to say that x is equal to x plus 2, okay? Now, this should actually alter the real x because we have said 
inside of this function we declared that we want to use the global variable x that already exists okay and this is how you use variables that already exist outside the function so i'll just show you that we'll use x plus 2 and this should make the value of x 10 to 14 oops got to find it first would help so we use x plus 2 let's see what happens when we print x what should happen is we should get 14. We get 14 showing that this works. Now let's say that we want to define y init, right? Which means initialize, right? Let's say we make a variable called y, so it's equal to 9. What happens there? And then we print y what will happen is this y value it will exist because we've defined this variable within the function right and so if we actually use this function init which is just short for y initialize it'll print out nine however if we print out y oops that's capitalized so that wouldn't help anyway if we try and print out y we get a y is not defined error and the reason is because this variable is only valid within the scope of unit or y initialization and once this function is terminated this y variable it just it no longer exists it doesn't exist outside of this function and once the function terminates it just simply doesn't exist so it only exists while this function is running so to change that once again we can use the global variable we'll, we'll define a y in it too and we'll say that there exists a new y called global y and then we've got to define the value of this global y so we'll say that y is equal to 9 and then we'll print y here okay not sure why we're getting any of that's perfectly fine so let's just uh, quickly initialize that. Now, if I use y in it too, we should print out 9 as before. However, if I try and if I attempt to print y now, we actually should have the value of 9. Because what's happened here is this y in it too has said we are going to use a global variable y and if it exists we'll use the already existing y and if it doesn't exist we have now declared this variable to exist okay so this either uses an existing variable y or creates a new variable y that is can be used outside of the scope of this function we continue with this global variable y and we've initialized its value to nine if it hasn't already been initialized with a value and print it off. This means after using the initial init2 function, we now have a y variable of value 9. And that's as simple as it is. So all you've got to do in order to make your uh, variables you know, usable outside of your function is make them global variables and to use variables that are outside of a function within a function, same. Just use a global uh, declaration and use the variable name. Really easy way of managing your scope. One thing you might want to be aware of, though, is just using, um, like, if you're using a very common variable name, for example, and you use it within a function and a global function and use it in several functions your code might get confusing and it also stops you from being able to use multi-purpose code so for example here where we're adding 2 to x it might be more handy for us to just use x as an argument and then add 2 to x here rather than directly manipulate because then rather than directly manipulating just one specific variable we can actually directly manipulate any kind of variable and just have it called x within this function and return it something else, right? So, you know, 
these globals have the uses, but they also have the limits. When you start adding a lot of lines of code, these globals are going to become very complex and hard to manage. And you may use, you know, let's say you define a global variable within a function and you don't pay much attention to it. And then you redefine it later on, thinking it hasn't been defined. You know, you can get problems by defining global variables in functions. You have to pay a lot of attention to your global variables and your known global variables if you're going to change the scope in this way. That being said, that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's go back over it. The scope is the scope or the context or area in which a variable exists or even you know just these calculations in a function exist you can make variables um, you can give variables scope globally by using the global declaration and that means you'll either make a new variable with the name uh, x for example global then variable name will either be made if it doesn't exist or you'll use the existing one within the function or if you decide that you don't want to do that, just keep your functions as normal. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you and hope you enjoyed.